Hey everybody, welcome back to the 509. I made a video a little while back on making some downspout elbows and I was just messing around. Uh, but anyways, I got a request saying that they wanted to kind of get a tutorial on how to do that. So let's see if I can do that for you real quick. Um, bear with me a little bit. Got uh, I don't have a separate microphone, so I'll try to talk loud enough to explain everything. But um, on the other video, I got a box down spot like this and cut it so it makes an elbow. Uh, this one here, we're going to have to make an, an elbow with an extension. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to make this one at 16 inches on the, at the pivot. And then we're going to make it roughly a 45 degree angle to come up. So that way it'll hook up to the downspout and have a slope on it to drain out farther. Uh, what it's doing right now is it's going into an underground drain and that underground drain is clogged. So they want us to cut it off at the drain, slide this on there so it'll just spill out into the yard. So first what we're gonna do is, I know this is bronze. Uh, I'll try my best to make sure that I can mark it to where you can see it and you can follow with me. So, <clears throat> excuse me. First what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure on here to where our pivot point's gonna be. So we got it hooked on the end and we're gonna go to 16 inches, which is right here. And we're gonna mark it. That's gonna be the back part of our pivot where that's gonna start going back up the downspout. So we got it marked right there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our speed square. Excuse my mess, can you see my mess in there? Yeah, a little bit, anyways. Um, so right here at that 16 inch mark, we're gonna uh, make us a square line all the way on both sides and then the face of the downspout. So I'm going to mark it. Actually, let me mark it with something y'all can see a little bit better. With. Let's try a sharpened nail set or a scribe. Okay. So go ahead and score that and you can see the line there now. From there, we're going to transfer it over to the face. And from there, we're going to transfer it over to the other side. We don't need to worry about the back. We're not doing anything because that's what's actually going to fold. <clears throat> okay, the next thing we want to do is, okay, your water direction is going to be like this. Let's see if I can show you. Um, it's going to be coming down into this downspout here. And then it's going to go out this way. Uh, once we make the elbow, it's going to be like at a slope like that. So anyways, this is going to be the outer part. You want this to be the inner part. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut, uh, we're going to leave some tabs on this side that'll go inside this other one to keep the water from not squirting out the sides. So I'll show you how to do that. So now on a 45 degree angle, I'm about to lose my phone here. Hold on. Okay. On a 45 degree angle, we're going to get this measurement and we're going to divide it in half. So in this case, it's four, so four and an eighth. So we're going to do it a little bit, uh, just at, we're just going to do it at four inches even. That's going to be fine on this part, on this one here. If you want to be perfect, you'd have to measure uh, two and a sixteenth on either side. But for our purposes, we're going to just do two inches on each side. All right, so from here, we're going to measure two inches over on this side. And then this side's going to be two inches. I'm not going to, well, I'll mark it lightly with this. So we're going to go two inches, but we're going to come back a little bit for a tab. So let's say it doesn't matter. It could be a minimum half inch or so is what I do sometimes, or you can go a little bit more. It's not going to matter too much and it, it should be fine. So from here, <clears throat> we're going to transfer this line. Okay. You see what I did there? This is two inches to here from there to there. And then from there to there is about an inch and a a quarter so that's going to be an extra tab so if we were to follow this we're going to transfer this over to this here from this line to nothing down here so i can get it on here there to there right and then the face of it i'm going to transfer it all the way across and then from there again we're gonna go from there, from there, to nothing back here. Let's see. 
talking about there. Okay. Remember, this is the right side. This is the bottom half of it. This is the top half. This is the face. And then this is the left side. Okay. So now, when we left this about three quarters short, we're going to make that into a tab that fits into the other side, like I was mentioning a minute ago. So we're going to make that instead of, okay, in, in reality, if we were to do it two inches from here, it would be at this point here. I don't want to scratch it too much. But since we move that mark in a little bit, we're going to, instead of tracing that to nothing, we're going to just kind of do a three quarter inch. Uh, so from there, we're just going to follow that three quarters close. Doesn't matter because it's going to be hidden anyway over to about right there. We'll do that to there. We're going to transfer this over and then we're going to do the same on the other side as well. Like that. And then we're going to just say about right here. It doesn't matter. You can just wherever pretty much for the most part. Uh, so like I said, that tab's going to be tucked inside here and you won't see it. Okay, so we're from there. Here. Okay. There. Once again, this is the upper part. This is the lower part. This is the right side of the downspout. This is the face of the downspout and the left side of the downspout. So now we got to cut that out on those lines. What I usually do to do that is I get one of these, uh, being that this is aluminum, I use a wood, a woodworker's paddle bit drill. Let me get one real quick. Okay, here's one right here, look. One inch, I got this from Harbor Freight or something like that. That's all you need. I use an inch. I don't usually go very much bigger than that. So that Take that out. Let's go ahead and put this dude in here. Okay. And then I'm going to just put a hole. Now, when you go through this, be careful not to put too much pressure because you don't want to hit it on the other side. Now, in this case, it wouldn't matter because it's going to be on the back. But if you're going to do like a crossover where you have one elbow coming down or the downspout coming down and then an elbow back this way and then an elbow back down again, uh, this one doesn't matter, but the other one would. So, because if you hit it on the backside, it'll make a dent and it'll show on, on the face. The face would be on this side in an opposite situation. So, just be careful. So, just put light pressure. Let the drill. Just like that. Remember, be careful. Don't, don't push down so hard that you, bam, hit the other side. Okay. So, now, what we're going to do is... Usually, hold on. In a lot of cases, we usually use this type of aviation snip. Just a regular straight. Uh, well, this is a red and this is a green, so you got your rights and lefts. Uh, but when I go to do these box downspouts, I tend to use these like a 45 degree angle snip uh, because they go into this hole and they cut those edges a lot easier. You don't have to push as hard. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start cutting them and show you what I do. Now in the end, <clears throat> this is gonna be the finished line right here. This line over here doesn't have to be perfect. Like I was saying earlier, it's just gonna be a tab. It's gonna go inside there. So it doesn't have, that doesn't have to be perfectly, perfectly cut. This one does. It has to be cut right on the line. If you cut it just a minuscule off too much, then your elbow's gonna close too much. If you cut it a minuscule this much or more, then it's not gonna close as much. But that can play a big part. So let me just show you. I'll usually start with a rough cut to just get it going on. I'll cut that there. Like I said, this other side, you can go ahead and just cut it to the line as close as you can or whatever. It doesn't matter. Cut that there. And then we'll get the 
the greens here. I'll go ahead and cut to this line here. I'm trying to monitor what I'm, what y'all are seeing while I'm recording. So just to see me hesitate a little bit. Go ahead, and pull this up, cut this again. This line doesn't matter too much. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just trying to reiterate. And this line here, we're gonna once again, we're gonna just make a rough cut. We're not gonna cut exactly on the line. So we're gonna cut that piece off. Now what we're left with is a little bit of a reveal if we can fine tune that with the snips. This is that one that doesn't matter. So we're gonna finish up the rest of it here. That one. careful with these sharp edges especially if you're doing this with galvanized or galvalume or uh, anything that's a little bit harder than aluminum I mean aluminum will still cut you don't get me wrong but it's not quite as bad okay copper that's a tough that's a sharp one stainless that one's sharp too okay so now we're at the point where we're going to go ahead and do a little bit more fine cutting this one doesn't have to be exact either but you got to get it right to that point where you measure that point is the critical part that's where your elk your downspout's gonna gonna fold at on that bottom and then here we're going to go ahead and start cutting on the line as best we can just to uh, make sure that our angle comes out properly and the finished product has a fairly smooth edge that to that point there and what I do I mean on this one here and you can do it the opposite on the other side I'm using my greens on this side and when you cut it this part of the snip pushes this part outward and you don't want it outward you want it inward because we're gonna slide this inside here that bypass so what I do, I do is after I'm done with this I go back to my red snips here and then I, I put those teeth right there in that and then I twist it this way so now it pushes this down, this one out, so now it'll bypass a little bit better. Does that make sense? Okay. <clears throat> All right, we'll finish up these other cuts here. Cut it to there. And we'll cut this line here. And like I said, this is a lot more, mainly the corners, but this front piece here is pretty vital as well to make sure you cut it straight. So we'll cut this off here. Trying to cut a little bit more so I can cut that scribe line off as well. Now right here, we this is the way we make our downspouts. We put an extra inch tab on each one of these corners and then we bypass them. And that way we can put some rivets in it right here. So when you get to this point here, you're gonna have double thickness. You're gonna be cutting through these two layers right here. So just to give you a heads up, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. So what used to be 032 is now 064. Okay, uh, just another quick explanation on this side, like the other side where I was saying you gotta run your snips in. If you cut this diagonal first, and then you go to cut this one, then you don't have to go back and try to re-wedge your snips. If you noticed, I did it opposite. I cut this one here first, and then I cut this one afterwards. That's why I had to go back in with my snips again to wedge, to kind of uh, bypass these two layers. So now that, if I did it this way, um, now I just got to cut to that point and then twist my snips just a little bit and I don't have to revisit it with another pair of snips. It'll save you a step. So you get to that there, get it in there as far as you can and then twist it to the left a little bit. And then that makes your bypass. So you got the two layers here and we just cut out. Okay, so now we're pretty much done with all the cutting. So now if you look at it closely, right in there, we got Two different layers we got to miss or uh, bypass but you can see that this side is a little bit higher than this side oops so that way we got to fold this inside there and it should be the same for this side as well see how this one right here is a little bit further out than this one that means this one is going to be tucked inside of here so 
let's do that right now. Now it makes it easy because you just have to kind of fold it and they should slide right on in. Just like, just like. Okay, one more tip. Sometimes you gotta smack these corners and I just smack it with this speed square. You can use a little hammer or whatever. I just smack this corner in because when you're cutting it, it flares out just a little bit. I'll just bang that in just a little bit and, then two, and that'll make it to go in a lot easier. Watch. Right there. Now, your elbow is done. Let me turn this camera a little bit. You can kind of see. So try not to drop you on the floor. Okay, so now, sitting back a little bit, let's do it this way. Now you can see that this will be from the downspout coming down the wall, and it's going to hit this elbow, and it's lapped properly, so the water will just continue to go in there and come down the bottom away from the building. Now what you would do here is you would make sure that you pull those tight. Let me get my drill back quick okay so now what you would do here is you pull these tight like that then we're going to drill a hole we're going to put two holes in here actually but i'm going to just do one for you right now we'll put one here and one about halfway don't go too far down here because sometimes you'll tend to miss that metal and don't go past the inline see that inline edge right there just follow that edge don't go on this side of it because your metal is obviously not going to be under there. So you want to go from that in line on this side and then the opposite for the other side. So let's see if I can drill this without knocking you over. Hold on a second. Okay, so from there... <clears throat> get your rivet or you can put screws in it but we like to put rivets in them from there you get that pull it tight and I've got this cool cordless rivet gun and you just put the rivet in there and you just pull the trigger and it pops it for you isn't that cool when the stem comes out all right so you do that there then you do the same on the other side and then you would have a finished downspout extension or in my case it's a downspout extension but you can make your downspouts like this if you wanted to another thing the last the last tip that i have here is sometimes these might leak water at these corners so what you can do is on the inside you can get just a little dab of caulking and where that corner is right in here just dab you a little bit of caulking just in that corner and on the other side and that'll keep it from dripping so all right that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions let me know down in the comments and thanks for coming back to uh, watch some videos here at the 509 and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our other videos there's uh, some stuff we do around the shop here. I might have mentioned in another video that we have a sheet metal shop here, and that's what we do to make, you know, make a living. We do custom stuff like that. Sheet metal brakes, sheet metal shear, and all kinds of stuff. So let's come back and uh, check out our other videos. Take care. See you next time at the 509.